I'm Lamar Hudson with the Positive Message for Life. Right now, we're going to go meet a group of teens that are role-playing what other teens are saying about problem gambling. So, let's go check them out. Come on. Come on. I play video games online. I love it so much. I wish I could play it all day long because I never get tired of it. I like to play Call of Duty and Halo 3 on my PC, or sometimes on my Xbox 360 or my PlayStation 3. I'm always beating my friends on certain matches or if I can get just get higher scores than they do. I mean, like, I woke up in the middle of the night one time when I wasn't supposed to, and but, you know, I got caught and got in serious trouble. Um, so, I know I'm hooked and I need some help. That's why. I'm addicted to sports gambling because I'm addicted to sports. I know some people would be like, that's weird or that's crazy, but I don't care. My parents put me in some kind of uh, counseling class. Yeah, it didn't work out too well. It just kind of made me want to gamble even more. So then I gambled my possessions, my money on sports related things like basketball, football, baseball, soccer, pig racing. Everybody loves pig racing. I'm just here to get help. I've been gambling on all sports for a long time now. I feel like I have to gamble. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay, take your time, take your time. Go ahead. It feels like I have to gamble every day. It feels like I have to gamble. I eat, sleep, and take a shower, and then gamble. I know it's not human. Um, well, I think that if I need more help, which I think I do, because I am addicted to this. I can talk to my mom, my dad, and the school counselor. I can even come back here for more support, you know? That sounds like a good and idea. Right here, I bet on every sport you can think of. I bet with money, shoes, we systems. Like, the other day, I was playing this dude, and he lost, like always, and I got his now. He's not getting that back, no refunds. And my models, I was gonna be right up for dinner. I bet all the time, and I'm just like obsessed with gambling. I know I need help, that's why I'm here. I was at my friend Diana's house, and we were just hanging out, and she was like, hey, Leigh, I got this really new cool game on my phone, it's called Bejeweled. And so she shows me the game, and ever since then I've been playing nonstop every chance I can get. I mean, I'll be betting money with her just to see you can get the highest score. It's ridiculous. Um, I was playing the game, and the only reason why I'm here is because of Terry and Alea. Um, they were just talking about how, like, Alea was saying, oh, Dan, we should go see what Taryn was talking about, having an addiction. And I was like, okay, what addiction? So, yeah, um, my boyfriend broke up with me saying, you're beautiful, but you just have an addiction. I was like, okay, whatever, what's your boat? And Taryn's like, he's right, Diana, you have an addiction. Okay, well, obviously, if you guys can see them right now, they obviously have a problem and it's out of control. When they text, they text colors and they talk about jewels all the time. I just don't know them. Look, it's just not an addiction. To me, it's life. I'm in the zone, I'm okay, we're in the zone, and it's just crazy how much we'll play the game and every chance we can get. I mean, I'll be betting money with her just to see if you can get the highest score. Actually, not too long ago, I just lost $20 to her because she was just three points higher than me. Do you know how crazy that is? Okay, so a couple weeks ago, I was just hanging out with my friends at their house, and they were like, hey, Reba, you want to shoot some dice or something? And I was like, yeah, sure. And so I was like, you want to bet? And they said, yeah. So I put in my iPod and my watch, and they were from my parents. They were really expensive. I was lucky enough to win them back with a pair of snake eyes, but that's all I really cared about. And shooting dice is my thing. I always have them in my purse or in my backpack. I shoot sevens 24 sevens. And I just won these bands yesterday. And I think dice is so fun to me. Like, I can play it all day and all night. And I love the fact of being on edge. Like, knowing that I've been winning for hours and that I can lose any second. But I also think it's a problem. Like, after this, I told my friends I was gonna go to the house I was gonna go shoot some dice, but they were just gonna tell them that I'm gonna go home and that they should sh stop shooting dice. Poker's my game. That's, that's it. 
So what about school and your family and friends? Does any of that matter to you? Yeah, that matters, but poker, that's my game. So how do your parents feel about you playing poker so much? They're concerned because like they always seem to know when I've been playing. And it's kind of weird because I don't play at home. I don't even play near home. And it's like, it's creepy how they always seem to know. So where do you go from here, my friend? Well, I don't see a problem with it now, but when I see a big problem with it, I'll come back again. See, my brother Caleb here and my friend Travante, um, we're, I know we're not supposed to, but we go to um, poker parties all the time. Like, matter of fact, almost every night. Um, like, we're so addicted that we play it like during class at school and stuff, and um, at home and like at our friends' houses and pretty much just everywhere we go. Like, all of us probably have a deck of cards in our pocket right now. I know I do. I don't want to stop because it's just getting way too carried away and I'm supposed to be in class, get my education, focus on that. Gambling can be addictive, which means you lose control and it controls you. So, throw that addiction away. You don't need to gamble to have fun. Stress to me, man.